The mountains and hills are full of Hekwuda spirits. The Hekwuda are called upon daily by Yanomama shamans when they take hallucinogenic drugs. The shamans call the Hekwuda to help them cure their sick kinsmen or to destroy the souls of people in enemy villages. The Hekwuda spirits were once human beings. These beings were the ancestors of the present Yanomama. Some of these ancestors also transformed into both animals and spirits in the distant past. One important myth that accounts for this transformation is the story of three brothers, Naro, Yamonamariwa, and Leha. It is a story about rivalry between male siblings and the insane jealousy that Naro had for the beautiful wives of Yamonamariwa. It relates how Naro's jealousy led to treachery, the use of harmful magic, and ultimately, the creation of both the spirits and the animals. It accounts for the special relationship between mortal men, animals, and spirits. Knowledge of these and other mythical events is passed from shaman to shaman, but rarely are the myths recited in complete form as lessons for the others to heed. It is possible, however, to get knowledgeable men to tell the complete myth. Kaumbawa, headman of the Bishasateri village, told me his version of Naro several different times. He, his brother-in-law, and his wife went to his garden with me where he told this version. When there were no Hekura, when those we know did not exist, in the very beginning, just one Hekura lived. The very beginning, when this first one lived, that is when they chopped Naro out of the mountain, when Naro was squashed to death. The spirits of all of the birds, the parrots, parakeets, and others, were created at this time, and shamanism came into being. The first Hekura was Maye Buritawa, the giant Tukan spirit, over on the peak of a high mountain called Oma Oma. He was a Hekura. Yes, I will tell you the truth. Human beings first began to use harmful magic at the time Naro was chopped out of the high place. The most beautiful ancestor of all, Yamunamariwa, was shot with a charm by his cowardly brother, who afterwards fled and was chopped from the mountaintop by the others. The conflict began with jealousy over women, the two wives of Yamunamariwa, who were visiting Naro's house to get tobacco from his mother. The wives went back to the handsome Yamunamariwa, their husband, at his command. Naro, ugly and unattractive, was jealous. He thought they wanted him and was furious when even the children teased him after the women left for the garden with their handsome husband. He falsely thought that the women wanted to copulate with him and was furious to learn the truth. Angrily, he decided to kill his brother with charm. Every time Naro saw the wives obey their husband, his jealousy and rage grew.